So today I'm going to be showing you how to make a spicy ginger and spinach pakora. So a pakora is basically um, sort of like a fried snack, I suppose. There's many names for it. Um, different sorts of cultures call them different things, but basically it's more or less just uh, some sort of starch based mix that is shallow fried or deep fried. So uh, this one we're going to be using uh, potatoes as the main base. And then of course, like I said, put a bit of chili, a bit of ginger, a bit of spinach in there and that's about all there is to it. Pretty simple stuff, so let's get started. All right, start with a pot with some boiling water and put in a teaspoon of salt. And 800 grams of potatoes. All right, leave that to cook for 20 minutes. Right now take a pan, put it on a medium high heat Put in one tablespoon of oil. One teaspoon of cumin seeds. And one large onion chopped up. and four cloves of garlic. All right, cook this on this heat for about three to five minutes. All right, it's about five minutes on that. So reduce the heat to medium and put in 200 grams of chopped spinach. Half a cup of water. And about three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. Right, cover this and let it cook for another three to five minutes. Right. right five minutes on that. So that's in the tube there. So now I add in three finely chopped green chilies and about two tablespoons of finely chopped ginger. Also put in half a teaspoon of coriander powder. Right. Leave this to cook uncovered until the uh, water has dried up. Make sure you stir it every now and again. It should take you another three to five minutes. Right. It's been about three minutes on that, so that's about done. All the water's gone there, so you can just take it off the heat now. So it's um, been about 20 minutes in the potatoes, so they're done. So I've just drained the water out. Now just mash them all up. All right, now add that spinach mix into the potatoes. and just mix that together. It's all mixed up. Uh, still a bit wet at this stage, so we're gonna put in half a cup of chickpea flour. Just mix that. All right, that's about that. That's pretty much how the recipe comes out. So uh, that should be about it. So now it's time to cook this. Okay, what we're gonna do now is uh, shallow fry these. So take a pan and put in about a centimetre of oil and just uh, put uh, spoonfuls of mixture into it, any size you want. Not too big though. Right, 
Uh, and what you're going to be doing is cooking it for about two minutes on one side and then rotate it and another two minutes on the other side. All right, it's been a couple minutes, so let's put them. All right, so that's the colour you should be getting. Um, a nice sort of golden brown finish. If they come out too burnt, your pan's too hot to just reduce the heat a bit. Because they need to cook for about two minutes per side, get the nice golden sort of finish on them. It's about two minutes there. Okay, so we take this out. So just put these on the side, um, put them on some paper towel on a plate, got them here, just to sort of drain the oil out of them. And that's about it. So I just repeat that with all the mixture. So there is the uh, finished result there. So um, you can see here, they've come out quite nice, golden sort of brown in color. Uh, you can see the spinach and sort of stuff like that showing through there. So uh, just to finish it, what you want to do is uh, put a bit of salt on the top and a good bit of lime juice. These flavors go really well with this. A little bit of lime juice over the top and that's battle goes to it, so enjoy.